Hello again, welcome back to Forensic Color Classroom. My name is Elliot. Today we're going to be doing a finish that is smooth but still rustic. And it's going to be with a base coat of KS, one coat of fine marmorino, and a color wash on top. So to start with, we're going to get our stainless steel top quality trowel, and we're going to apply the KS in a smooth coat over the whole board. Smoothing it out, you don't want a lot of movement for this one. And that's it. Just a smooth coat of white chaos. And next we take our our smooth board that I have already ready here. And on top of that, we're going to put our color of fine marino. We're going to apply this pretty much the same way, except nice, nice and tight over the whole board. Always covering our tracks. should be able to see a little bit of that white popping through. While that's still wet, we're going to do what's called a go over, and you're going to do this basically every four feet at a time. You do a quick little go over over everything you've already done. It's almost like doing an extra coat, but you're doing it wet on wet, so you don't use so much material. As that's drying, we're going to start to burnish it up. Just nice and deliberate motions with the trial, compressing and burnishing at the same time. And you're done with step two. Before we get to the color wash, we're going to put a quick coat of our Firenze Hydro Wax, and that's going to be so that the color wash doesn't stick so much. going to be a, a slight barrier so that the color wash doesn't stick and absorb in. It kind of just creates a rustic wash over the whole thing. Okay. Just to use the rag to remove any excess. Now typically you want this to dry up a little bit before you go on to the next step. And we're going to go ahead and do it. Our 
color wash is a black ombra. This is meant for interior only. If you want to do exterior, you would want to use what we call Fase Silva Sonica. That's a color wash is designed only for exterior. So I'm applying with a sponge. I, I don't have a lot on, on my sponge. And it goes really far. And I just apply it in a kind of a circular, confused motion so that I don't I don't accentuate any specific movement. I'm just basically getting it on there, moving it around, and trying to go back and hide any any strokes from the from the sponge that are appearing. I don't want any specific streakiness to stay on the on the board. Working it in to get rid of all the streakiness. So we're going for a subtle wash. All right. That way, any excess with a rag over the dry sponge and then you can start buffing it out too and that'll give it a little bit of shine because of the hydro wax that's underneath if you don't want too much shine you don't have to buff it you can let it dry just the way it is and it'll be more of a satin kind of a finish To, to finish this off, I'm going to blow dry it with a blow dryer just so you can see how it looks. finish that's still completely smooth that nice marble feel that you want and shiny thanks, thanks again remember we all have other videos just remember youtube.com slash Miami you can see all of our other videos